It's time to whip off that bra, pour a glass of your favorite wine, and join us for this week's Drinks at Six podcast. Hi, Monica. Hi, Jacqueline. Are you ready? <laughs> I was born oh. ready. <laughs> Jeez, you sound like a bumper sticker. <laughs> Speaking of bumper stickers, I feel like I need to lay down the law right away, right now. These are expressions and phrases you should not use A ever, but not after 40. All right, just like delete them from your vocabulary. The first I want to start with LOL. LOL. I'm so sick of LOL. You're not laughing out loud if you're sending me a text. And if you need to tell me that you're laughing out loud, that's just like, that just makes sound like I'm insecure. I need to know you're laughing out loud like I made you laugh. I don't need to know. Don't LOL me. You are way more confident than me. Way more confident than me. I LOL. No more LOL. I'm an LOL. I'm going to get a little space I, invader thing. Can we make, boom. What, what's a 40 plus replacement for LOL? Ha. H-A-A. Ha. Oh, yeah. Ha, ha, funny. ha, ha. Yeah. You, you know, know like what? how we normally I was talk? rebelling against the LOL at the beginning with ha, 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 and then I stopped. I'm going back to ha ha. Ha ha ha. ha, ha you know ha, what? Ha. Everything doesn't have to be verbally economical. We can okay. say actual big words. Okay. Um, my my buddy Jamie, <laughs> he's in, <laughs> he's in uh, sales and I, and he's my age. And I remember when LOL became a thing. And he said to me he was really uncomfortable because one of his male customers sent him a thing. And it said LOL, and he didn't understand why he, this male customer, was saying lots of love in his email. <laughs> Yes. I, uh, I understand. <laughs> Kidney is an we, urban dictionary. I think we brought that up once before, and we I did. mentioned to you that I thought every guy I ever went to high school with was in love with me, and then I realized, <laughs> no, they're not. No, they're not. Okay. <laughs> Keep on going. The other one I'm going to get rid of is chillaxing. I'm sorry. So I just can't stand it. Dumb. It is. You're chilling or you're relaxing. Just make, you know, draw a line in the sand. Yeah. Um, cool beans. No. Oh, no. 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 Never. All right. No. You had one too. What was yours? I hate, loathe when you say something to somebody and they say, right? Right. I totally Why? hate that. Right? Why? I don't know. What I is that channeling from? like our inner valley girl. Yeah. Doesn't it sound like gay? Leave it with, uh, right? yeah. Leave it with spin, right? Leave it with square pegs. I'm done. You know, I've got an ongoing list of words I'd like to see gone. Um, I'm going to post that. I just okay. have to find the list because I, I am one of those anal people that keeps an ongoing list of things that drive me crazy <laughs> <laughs> and foods that I don't like. I have uh, I You have foods you don't like? Are you kidding? I have a list of 57 items that I don't like, including candies and jellied fruit and mints <laughs> and mixing fruit with meat, which I actually changed my mind on. Yeah, I've got a whole list. I don't think wow. anyone's interested what in about, the list. What about um, head cheese? Oh. Jelly. <laughs> oh. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, that is gag reflexible. With some nice sauerkraut on the side. Oh, and some, uh... oh my God. I remember my first job was working in a deli. And uh, and I was like 17 and I went to this insane party. And I had to go the cheese next party. day and some jerk ordered oh, sliced head cheese. I had to put it through the slicer. What? Where was this? Was this name Wolf France? It was, your <laughs> it was dad. my dad, man, for yes. sure. Like, you just keep slicing. <laughs> you uh, keep slicing, little girl. Well, I know that you were to last night. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. did the same thing in my youth. Now you're going <laughs> to slice the head cheese. Okay. <laughs> okay, like, I will never understand head cheese. It is on my list, though, of things I cannot stomach. <laughs> Speaking oh. of head cheese... <laughs> Let's talk about your head for a minute. My head? Yeah. What about it? Well, I was admiring, the, is this this year's Three Little Wishes uh, Oh, earrings? I thought you meant my new hairstyle. No. Did you notice I got my hair cut yesterday? No. I your hair is layers. very long. It yeah, is very I got more fluffy. layers. I love and it. And I go to lift, and so do you. Oh, Our I friends, our Heidi girls. and Stracy, the yes. awesome ladies. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you know what? They are so good. I showed uh, Heidi a picture of what I wanted, like in a cut, and she goes, okay, so what you want is rock star hair, right? I said, yeah. 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 She goes, let's put the pictures away. I know. I got you covered. It looks so great. great. I love the love layers. It. I think because last the time your hair too. was up. 
Yeah, I was starting to look a little too Janis Joplin. Well, I'm a getting little that. more Joan Jett is what I want. I like it. It's very rocking. Thank you. But the earrings. But the earrings are beautiful. I buy these every year from you because, um, well, I'll let you talk about the charitable component. Mm -hmm. But I buy these for gifts every year. And since we're coming up to Christmas, I do have to put my order in. But yeah, I give them to my mm. in laws, my mom, my girlfriends, and they love them. But they're oh, so thanks. sparkly and fantastic. They are I sparkly. Love the in them. Yeah. Um, Thank you. So they're called the Three Little Wishes because um, we we actually started this fund five years ago. Um, what we do is every year uh, we help. Uh, my husband and I created this together. So we help a family where either mom or dad has cancer and they are financially strapped from the burdens of the cancer, and we donate the proceeds that we collect to their children. So the very first year we did it, we were inspired to do it because a good friend of ours, uh, Tom Preston, he was diagnosed uh, with a bile duct cancer in 2010. And the story about Tom is that um, 